T-minus 15 seconds, the uh, second umbilical tower Start. moving away from the Soyuz. Preliminary. T-minus three seconds. Two, Primary one, liftoff. liftoff, liftoff of Alexander Skvortsov, Tracy Caldwell Dyson, and Mikhail Kornienko beginning their journey to the International Space Station. Good pitch program according to flight controllers. No issues. The Soyuz is heading toward a link up with the International Space Station two days from now. Engines stage one and stage two operating nominally. Good first stage performance. The Soyuz delivering 102 tons of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. The first stage of the Soyuz measures 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter, burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of flight. T plus 50 seconds, pressure in combustion chambers is nominal, confirmed. One minute, 10 seconds into the ascent of the Soyuz, velocity is 1,100 miles an hour. Fine, uh, we're feeling fine. Uh, what's that uh, rabbit? It's a ducky. Uh, is uh, uh, that uh, your masket? Uh, that's an in, uh, a zero G indicator. Okay. One hundred seconds. Structure nominal. Feeling fine. Uh, pro bailout system uh, jettison confirmed. Uh, stage one. One minute and 58 seconds. Jettison of four strap on boosters. These have completed their job and have dropped away at an altitude of 28 statute miles. The Soyuz is now traveling at about 3,350 miles an hour. Uh, expecting fairing jettison. The weather is fine. Uh, we saw the separation. And uh, we can see uh, your trail. Okay, the fairing is being jettisoned right now. Two minutes and 40 seconds into the mission, escape tower and launch shroud jettison. Jettison, conf fairing jettison confirmed. Uh, right in the flight engineer's face. Uh, this is nose fairing jettison, not separation. A slight correction to your report. We're at three minutes and three seconds, traveling at a speed of about 4,700 miles per hour. 80, everything is fine. 190. Receiving in-cabin views of the Soyuz spacecraft. The Soyuz core stage is performing as advertised. The core stage of the Soyuz is 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter, and has a single engine with four fuel chambers providing 96 tons of thrust for its three minutes and 28 seconds of operation. Alexander, how is uh, your number three? Tracy. These in cabin views showing us a look at. How's Tracy? Uh, are we LOS? Tracy, how are you? How are you feeling? Alexander, uh, do you read? 
We're receiving uh, live in-cabin views from the Soyuz uh, TMA-18 spacecraft. We're looking now at Alexander Schwarzkopf in the lower right-hand portion of your screen. And in the center of your screen is Tracy Caldwell Dyson making her first ride in the Soyuz spacecraft. Uh, stage two separation confirmed. We're now at 4 minutes 58 seconds into the flight. Core booster burns out and is separating at an altitude of 105 miles or 170 kilometers. And the third stage is igniting. Utyosi, how do you read? The core stage engine has uh, now fulfilled its role for today and is dropping away about four minutes of powered flight remaining. Soyuz is now being propelled by the single engine of the Soyuz's third stage. The engine's providing 30 tons of thrust and will burn for four minutes and two seconds. Utyosi, this is launch control. How do you read? Russian flight controllers uh, working on communications link up with the Soviet spacecraft. Uh, not unusual for this point in the flight. Utyosi, this is launch director. Utyosi, this is launch director. Utyosi, this is launch director. Utyosi, we are getting a lot of noise. You're almost inaudible. Everything is fine. Everything is according to schedule. No issues. Utyosi. How do you read? We're seven and a half minutes into the flight. Uh, the velocity of the Soyuz spacecraft now almost 13,500 miles an hour. We are continuing to receive live television pictures from inside the Soyuz capsule. Uh, this look at Alexander Skvortsov there in the lower portion of your screen and Mikhail Kornienko in the uh, upper right-hand corner of your screen. Mission Control in Moscow. Uh, Still trying to reach the crew, having uh, quite a bit of static over the audio communication lines. Once the uh, third stage delivers the Soyuz to orbit and the module is separated, a series of pre-programmed commands will be executed to prepare the Soyuz for orbital operations. These stored commands, called time tag commands, allow many of the Soyuz systems to be automatically activated by onboard computers at precise, precise times stored in the onboard computers. Utyosi, how do you read? Uh, expecting the separation flag. Monitoring for the separation flag. Separation confirmed. We're now at nine minutes and 14 seconds into the flight. Uh, we have confirm confirmation of uh, separation, the single liquid fuel.